If we can trust the Lord Jesus for our eternal salvation, can we not trust him for the management of our lives? And we do trust him for our eternal salvation. We come and we bow at the foot of the cross and we believe on him and claim eternal life through faith by grace. But then we hug our own little lives and like and we live them the way we want. Robert Laidlaw wrote this. I think it's very good. He said there is a, a lack of sincerity about committing the eternal soul to God and holding back the mortal life, professing to give him the greater and withholding the lesser. I think I should read that again. There is a lack of sincerity about committing the eternal soul to God and holding back the mortal life, professing to give him the greater and withholding the lesser. Do you know one of the great things that could come out of this would be for somebody here or some persons here to have a really priceless experience of the Holy Spirit, where the, for the first time in, in their lives they get down and they say, Lord Jesus, I turn over the reins of my life to you. I want you to come in and be Lord of my life, a crisis experience. And then day by day after that, to begin the day and say, Lord Jesus, live your life through me during this next 24-hour period. First you begin with a crisis, then it becomes a process. And it makes such good sense. It makes such good sense. If we believe that the Lord Jesus is wisdom incarnate, that he is omniscient, that he knows all things, and that he's a God of love, what good sense it, it makes to let him run our lives. He can run them better than we can. I'll tell you that in his wisdom, love, and power.